everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you we really appreciate you do not take your support for granted we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Ghani Adams seeks redeployment of your police chief. Quite interesting. We know Ghani Adams um, is the Yoruba warlord, um, the Areona Kankafu of Yoruba land. He's the one speaking right now and um, he's calling on the Inspector General of Police to actually redeploy the, <laughs> the Commissioner of Police in your state. This is quite shocking. We know right now what we're dealing with in the country, if you tap anyone, any Nigerian from sleep, that what is the major issue, what is the major concern that needs addressing the number one on the list, the, the top, the top is the one that is on top of the list. I don't think anyone would have to think twice before they would just spit it out to say insecurity, because that is one thing that is affecting everyone in the country. We are so scared if we are traveling, even if when you are in your home, you sleep with one eye closed, you are not sure if you hear any sound. Everyone is scared, kidnapping here and there, to the extent that even uh, uh, top uh, personalities are being attacked as well. Those that even have security details, we, we heard what happened to former CBN governor, Professor Soludo. So sad, and that incident, three police officers lost their life. God rest their souls, so sad. The insecurity, I don't know what is going on in the country. And Buhari, even in the midst of all of this, he could still travel, take her time to go and relax. He said he's going for a medical checkup. Anyway, um, Ghani Adam has got some reasons behind this. I don't know if they are justifiable, but um, he's got uh, the reasons and he has actually stated the reasons why the commissioner of police in Oyo state should be redeployed, sent to another place. We know when the crisis started in the southwest, Oyo state was one of the states um, in the southwest that uh, uh, really um, had a fair share of this crisis because we know it was in Oyo state that... Um, Sunday ago, the Yoruba activist, he, that was the point in time he rose up to defend his community and asked Fulani headsmen to evacuate, to leave. They should go back to where they came from because their criminal activities, their killings have become too much. Harassing innocent um, farmers, forcefully taking their lands, even burning down their houses. It, it has become too much. So Sunday ago, rose up and asked them to evacuate, to leave. We know even after the evacuation notice, um, the Fulani headsmen, they've still been attacking farmers. Uh, they know that they've got support. The northern governors are supporting them. The northern governors are stating that they can carry arms. They are free to go about carrying AK-47. Very surprising. You know, at one point in time, even this uh, Ghani Adam stated that uh, <laughs> Fulani headsmen are not our problem. We know what our problems are. It's not Fulani headsmen far away from it. They know that their problem is among them, themselves, among the, the, the southwest division here and there the ones that are playing politics are playing politics with them um, the lives of uh, uh um citizens anyway let's find out um, what uh, Ghani Adams um, is talking about but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe also press on that notification bell guys press the bell until it turns great god bless you now we'll get into the news and grab all of the details the array on Akankafu of Yoruba land Iba Ghani Adams has urged the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, to redeploy the Oyo State Commissioner of Police, Ungozi Onadeko, saying the state was too volatile for such a gentle cop. Iba Adams also accused the Oyo State Police boss of playing politics with sensitive security issues, adding that in the increasing rate of crimes perpetrated daily in the state can only be curbed by someone that understands the terrain and the technicalities of the security-related issues. Adams, in a statement on Sunday by his special assistant on media, Kende Aderemi, also blamed the Oyo State Commissioner of Police for her roles in the protracted detention of the three members of the Odudua People's Congress that handed over the notorious kidnap warlord Abdullahi Isikilu Wakili to the police. The Yoruba Generalissimo also flayed the police over the murder and arson charges raised against the trial, maintaining that such cases are capable of destroying the trust reposed in the police. 
Eba Adams pointed out that he will seek justice against the unjust arrest, arraignment and charges of her son and mother for the trial. He said last week the Alaofin of Oyo, Oba Lamidi Adeyemi III, had expressed concern at the spate of insecurity in the state. Kabiesi lamented that over 70% of farmers in Okeogu, Ibarapa, and its environs could no longer go to their farms because of the fear of being kidnapped and killed by bandits and criminal Fulani headsmen. From what Kabiesi had said, it is no doubt that there is impending danger lurking around the state. If farmers can't go to their farms, then there will be famine and shortage of food in the state. Oyo State is central to the progress and development of the Southwest. The state is blessed with 33 local governments and a landmass of about two states put together. So, such terrible situation would definitely affect the whole of the Southwest. For instance, there was a report where kidnappers almost killed a teacher in Ibarapa. The teacher lost his hands to the criminal headsman. Therefore, I'm appealing to IGP Adamu and the Police Service Commission to redeploy the Oyo Commissioner of Police, who, according to my findings, is too slow and biased, especially on sensitive security issues. Adams, however, raised the alarm that Onadeko had released many of the kidnappers apprehended by the OPC and other local security operatives, and they have returned to their base to perpetrate more crimes. He said, I want to also urge the Oyo State Governor Engineer Shei Makinde to cooperate with the IGP in ensuring that the state is safe for all and sundry because, from the reports at my disposal, kidnappers are now returning to Ibarapa because they know that with such a gentle cop as commissioner, they can easily get away with any crime committed in the state. What becomes of the police when people cannot trust them as an institution? It is unfortunate for the police to accuse the three members of our group of mother and her son after they had assisted them in apprehending in Sikilu Wakili, a notorious kidnap warlord that has been terrorizing the people of, of Ibarapa and its environs. With the present situation in the country and your state in particular, people will be discouraged most times when things like this happen because there is no way organizations like ours that have the capacity to assist the police in ensuring effective security will continue without giving it a thought. But we wouldn't be discouraged in our efforts. We will continue to play our roles in ensuring that our region is safe against criminal elements. Recall that the three members of the OPC, Awodele Ade Digba, Dauda Kazim and Hazan Ramon had since been in detention on a six count charge, including conspiracy, arson, and murder. Nigeria, indeed. The people that captured kidnappers, they are the ones that are now in nets while the kidnappers are being set free. Those people that are saying that Nigeria should, uh, should remain one. I'm not taking a position right now, but I'm only just saying that this is one of the reasons why um, Odudua um, agitators are still pushing, you know, because see the way things are playing out. Everyone is playing politics. I don't know if um, the Inspector General of Police will heed to what um, Ghani Adams is requesting right now. But guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.